Hello and welcome to another lecture based on vectors. Today we shall be discussing about the components of a vector in a plane and the components of a vector in space. Later we are going to deal up with some numerical problems that would be based on the concepts that we are going to discuss in the coming segments of this lecture. So starting with the discussion on components of a vector in a plane. For that let us consider a point P with coordinates x, y in the coordinate plane x, o, y. Now here vector i and vector j represent the unit vectors along x and y directions. Now from P we draw Pm which is perpendicular to O x. Thus we have Pm as this line. Similarly we can draw another line Pn perpendicular to O y and thus we have line Pn as shown. Now then we can substitute OM as X and ON as Y. Therefore, vector OM is equal to X into unit vector I and vector ON is equal to Y into unit vector J. Now using the parallelogram law, the position vector of point P is given as vector OP is equal to vector OM plus vector ON. Now as discussed we have the values of OM and ON as YJ and XJ respectively. Now substituting these values we have the position vector of point P as X into unit vector I plus Y into unit vector J. Now if R vector represent the position vector of the point P then we can say that vector R is equal to Xi plus Yj. Now here X and Y are known as the scalar components of the vector R along X axis and along Y axis respectively and Xi and Yj are known as the vector components of the vector R along X axis and Y axis respectively. We also note that OP square is equal to OM square plus ON square. This gives us OP square is equal to OM square plus ON square. Now since we know that OM is equal to X and ON is equal to Y. Therefore, OP square is equal to X square plus Y square. This further implies that modulus of OP is equal to root of X square plus Y square. Therefore, we can write OP vector which represent the position vector of point P equal to root of X square plus y square. Thus the position vector of point P is given as root of x square plus y square. Next we are going to consider two points P and Q having coordinates x1, y1 and x2, y2 respectively. Now we draw Pm perpendicular to Ox and we draw another line Qn perpendicular to Ox. After that we are going to draw a line Pr perpendicular to n q. Thus we have line p r as this line. Then p r is equal to m n which is equal to o n minus o m. Now we know that o n is equal to x2 and o m is equal to x1. Thus substituting these values we have the value of PR as X2 minus X1 and RQ is equal to this line is equal to NQ minus MP. Now here we have the value of NQ as Y2 and 
mp as y1. Thus, we have rq as y2 minus y1. Next, we note that vector pq is equal to pr plus rq. Therefore, we can write vector pq is equal to vector pr plus vector rq. Now, we have vector pr as found equal to x2 minus x1 into unit vector i plus vector rq equal to y2 minus y1 into vector unit vector j. Thus we have the value of vector pq as x2 minus x1 into unit vector i plus y2 minus y1 into unit vector j. And the distance pq is equal to root of x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square. Therefore, component of vector pq along x2 is x2 minus x1 and vector component along x is x2 minus x1 into unit vector i. Similarly, the component of vector pq along y-axis is y2 minus y1 and the vector component along y-axis is y2 minus y1 into unit vector j. Next, we are going to discuss the components of a vector in space. For this, let us consider a point P having coordinates x, y and z. Now, let vector i, unit vector j and unit vector k be the unit vectors along the three rectangular axes respectively. Then the position vector of point P is let's say represented as vector R is equal to x i plus y j plus z k. Now here x y and z are known as the components of vector R along x axis, y axis and z axis respectively and x i y j z k are known as the vector components of the vector r along x axis y axis and z axis we also note that op which is this line can be represented as root of x square plus y square plus z square this implies that vector r is equal to vector op which is equal to root of x square plus y square plus z square. Next we are going to discuss the problem based on the concepts that we have discussed in this lecture. The problem says that find the terminal point of vector pq whose initial point is p with coordinates minus 2 and 6 and components along the coordinate axis are 3 and minus 4 respectively. Also calculate the modulus of vector p q. For this problem, let us consider o to be the origin and q with coordinates alpha and beta be the terminal point of vector p q. Then vector o p is equal to minus 2i plus 6j and vector OQ is equal to alpha i plus b j. Therefore, we have vector PQ equal to OQ minus OP which is equal to alpha i plus b j minus of minus 2i plus 6j which is equal to alpha plus 2i plus beta minus 6j. Now, as the components of vector PQ along x-axis and y-axis are 3 and minus 4 respectively, therefore we have alpha plus 2 equal to 3 and beta minus 6 equal to minus 4. This implies that alpha is equal to 1 and beta is equal to 2. Hence, the terminal point Q is equal to a point having the coordinates as 1, 2.
Now we have PQ equal to by the use of equation 1 we have PQ equal to 3i minus 4j. Therefore modulus of this vector is equal to root of 3 square plus minus 4 square which is equal to 5. Thus we have found the terminal point of vector PQ which is Q having the coordinates of 1, 2 and the modulus of vector PQ is equal to 5. With this we conclude this lecture based on vectors in which we dealt with the components of a vector in a space and in a plane.